Okay, let's do one more. This is like a hidden one that everyone knows already. Um, let's take R, uh, not that R. Let's take, uh, not, not that R, this R. Let's take R, a relation on Z, and let's say that uh, ARB, if and only if, 3 divides 2A minus 5B. Okay. So, is this reflexive? I'd have to work it out. Now let's look at um, 2a minus 5a. What's 2a minus 5a? Minus 3a. Yeah. Minus 3a. But this equation tells us that 3 divides 2a minus 5a, but that's equivalent to saying that 3, sorry, that a r a. Right? Yeah. Now, is it symmetric? It is. So let's suppose that a, r, b, but that means that 3 divides 2a minus 5b. And then what's the like thing that we always want to get towards? Like we've got all of these things that are really definitions of, yeah, you want to make an equation because we've been trained in algebra, right? Now, if preparatory classes were not like just so algebra based, maybe that wouldn't be what we wanted to do, right? But they are, so that's what we want to do. Like yeah. we would all be doing like geometry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what does this mean? Yeah, so what does this mean uh, as, a, as an equation? Uh, 3 times k. And now let's like kind of look ahead. So what do, what do we want? What, what's the shape of the object that we want to show as a multiple of 3 if we have b, r, a? Yeah, so we have 3 divides 2b minus 5a. So you know, sometimes it's useful to like think about the last step and even put it there if we need to. So that means we're going to look at 2b minus 5a. But how does that differ from 2a minus 5b? There's no word for what this is. You're thinking conjugate, but that's not the right thing here. Um, <laughs> the other one's negative. Yeah. So true. <laughs> cool. So this has got 2b. This has got minus 5b, right? Yeah. So, so if, if we want to write this with a, with a 2a minus 5b, so we could write this as 2a minus 5b minus some stuff, right? What would we have to, uh, or maybe plus some stuff. Yeah, plus some stuff. Yeah. So what would we need to add to get from one to the other? Just the coefficient of b. 7b. Right. 7b, oh. right? Am I insane? Five, negative 5b plus 7b is 2b, right? So right? That has to be right, right? <laughs> 7 minus 5 is 2. Right? Right? Yeah, that's always been wrong, Zach. And then we also need like 7 more A, right? So if we just add 7 B to both sides. Mm, this seems wrong. 2 B minus 5 A. We started with 2 A minus 5 B.
Now we're going to subtract 7b from both sides and add 7a to both sides. So we're going to, something like that. What? No. So we end up with 9a minus 14b. How does that help us? 14. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong direction. Might as well. Maybe. So let's yeah. see. Yeah, we're going to do minus 7a, right? And then what? Plus 7B. We're going back to 7 with this one. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I know my math. Now, what can we do with that? Uh, uh, add it to 3K. So this is going to be 3K plus what? No, I okay. I think this this is not the way to do it. Yeah, I don't. Let's instead think of it like this. This is better, I think. Let's instead think about something minus two a minus five b. Mm. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. I tried to do it like that the way that we had it, but it's just not going to go that way like very cleanly. So anyway, what do we, what do we get? That's minus three A, maybe three A minus two A. Yeah, seven B minus three A. Right, it's still seven B. No, 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 it's not seven B. No. It's it's three B. Three B three A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, three A. No. Three A. It's negative three A. Negative 3a minus 2a is minus 5a, yeah. right? Uh, 3b minus... Minus negative 5b is 8b. Why? They're both negative. Yeah. There, it's that. Yeah. All right. Does that look right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So now let's observe we can factor a negative 3 out of this whole thing, and we'll have a plus b plus k. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because like they can factor a 3 out of this, right? Yeah. And then you can factor a 3 out of this by the equation right above. Yeah, and so it's, it's divisible, then so it works. Yeah, okay. Jeez. It's way harder than it should be. Okay. Why, why is the math just not matching? Is it transitive? Uh, yeah, that's actually easier here. So let's suppose ARB and BRC. So that means that 3 divides uh, 2A minus 5B and 3 divides 2B minus 5C. But then we uh, sprint to having equations. So that's uh, 2a minus 5b equals 3m. And uh, 2b minus 5c equals 3n for integers m and n. Now what do we want to do with that set of equations? Keeping in mind the last step. So the last step should be ARC, which means 3 should divide who? <coughs> so just do this in reverse. There to there. Oh, so that's uh, 2A minus 5C. Good. Now, how can we get from what we have to that?
we need to plug stuff in. We don't have vari variables. Those aren't variables. Those are numbers. Yeah, what do we get if we do that? We're going to get, uh, yeah, this, good. This is 3m plus 3n equals this. But then what do we get if we add them? So that means that 2a minus uh, 5c equals what? Yeah, well, plus 3b because we got to move it over, right? <clears throat> so this equals 3m plus n plus b. So we did it.